The road ahead of twisting turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing through And every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I keep, keep on pushing through Cause I get up And I may fall right back down But you love lifts me back to solid ground For this 2015 and newer uh, Sprinter chassis, Mercedes-Benz recommends oil changes every two years or 20,000 miles. This seems like a long time, but then again, today's synthetic oils and engine materials are so much better than they were uh, when I was a lad. I was taught to change oil every 3,000 miles. With the clunkers I was driving, I had to throw in an extra quart every 1,000 miles or so. Well, that was a long time ago, and today I'm going to be talking about my results after going 20,000 miles between oil changes. I had just performed a Schedule B service. I also sent out a sample of my oil to Blackstone to see how well the oil held up. While we're waiting for the report to come back, let me give you a few suggestions that you might want to incorporate into your procedures to be totally correct. In my previous video, I performed a Schedule B maintenance for the first time. And yeah, I made a few rookie mistakes based on some feedback from some guys that have done this more often, including a Mercedes-Benz Tech. If you remember, after replacing the fuel filter, cranked over the engine for about seven seconds until the fuel filter uh, filled up with diesel and the engine started. Yeah, running the starter for a few seconds like that isn't going to hurt it. Uh, you, can, uh, you can operate up to like 15 seconds with no problems, but if you're concerned about the extra cranking time, then just turn the key on. It will pump the fuel into the filter and then it will be able to start right away after that. Yeah, replace the uh, fuel line clamps with these serrated ones. And in the long run, these serrations could dig into the hose and potentially damage it. So uh, a better alternative is to use these solid clamps from, uh, got these from Euro Parts. I'll put the uh, link in the bottom description below. I didn't give the rubber clamp that holds the uh, turbo hose on much thought. But uh, anyway, uh, according to the Mercedes Ventec, you need to change this every time. Otherwise, it's not covered under warranty. So uh, apparently the uh, turbo there is like a big vacuum cleaner, sucking the air through the air filter. So if this thing is ripped or damaged or anything, and a piece of it gets sucked into turbo, yeah, that's like $2,000 to change the turbo. And this is just a $23 part, so I'm gonna put a new seal in. Yeah, here's the seal right in here. I'm gonna take that off. Here's the old seal. Um, it actually looks in pretty good shape. I'm going to put a new one in anyway. The seal itself goes in this way, right inside this uh, rubber section here. We got the turbo hose back on, clamp tightened up. We got the new clamps uh, on here, so we're good to go. Just have to put the air box back on and we're done. Before I go over the report, I want to explain how we drove in those last 20,000 miles. Pretty much it's been three cross-country trips. Uh, one we made all the way up to New England and back. It's when we stopped at the Winnebago Rally in Forest City, Iowa. And also made a couple of trips to Florida. Uh, so we've gone over the Rocky Mountains uh, a couple of times. And also some mountains between uh, here and Arizona. But most of the driving has been uh, fairly level highways. Uh, obviously going to Florida it's not too many hills. I uh, didn't hit a lot of stop-and-go traffic. Uh, we've had to use biodiesel maybe three or four tank loads. Uh, that was about it. Didn't have to add any oil at all in the 20,000 miles. It went from the top of the dipstick down to the just below the had one quart level. And sending out the oil sample I had two questions I wanted to have answered. Uh, first one is how was the oil doing? Is it worn out? Is it still good? Second question is, how is my engine doing? Does it have fuel dilution? Is there you know, water antifreeze mixed into it? Uh, is it trapping in dirt? There's good news on the oil life question. The number one oil that I'm using, the ESP uh, 030, 
It's comprised of about 80-90% uh, base stock. It's a PAO, synthetic uh, fluid. The rest is additives. Uh, these additives are put in to uh, control the viscosity, uh, they keep sludge and acids from forming, and it has detergents to keep all the dirt and soot in suspensions. I look at the TBN, the total base number. The new oil is around 7.5, and it's considered worn out when it's around one. Our report here shows a TBN number of 3.2, so it's still got plenty of life left in it. Now the other parameters like viscosity or insolubles are out of line, so everything looks pretty good for the oil. My conclusion is the oil is still good after the 20,000 miles. Now, as far as how my engine is doing, basic things like uh, there was no fuel dilution, uh, no water in the oil, uh, it was pretty clean, so all that stuff was fine. However, there were higher levels of metals detected than I would have expected. This is only my second oil change, so some of that metal could be left over from the uh, break-in period. Blackstone says it takes a few uh, oil changes to wash all that stuff out, so that's fine. However, the levels of nickel was a little bit higher than that, and they recommended that we watch them. I don't see this as an urgent problem, but I'll just keep my eye on it and uh, we'll check it on the next oil change in another 20,000 miles. So in conclusion, can you go 20,000 miles on oil change like Mercedes-Benz recommends? Well, everyone has their opinion on this and I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but the oil analysis says yes you can. My initial concerns have been satisfied and uh, I think I'll stick with the Mercedes-Benz recommendations of the 20,000 interval, but I might change it a little bit earlier if I have a long trip ahead. I don't wanna be changing oil during the middle of a trip. Blackstone recommends another follow-up after 20,000 miles, so I'll probably check it again then just to see where we're at. If you'd like to see the details, I'll post the report so you can go through it in some details. And if you have any questions, uh, just give me a comment. Otherwise, I think we're good. And uh, this is Grandpa Ron, and I'll see you on the road. Time for me to get ready for our next trip to Colorado.